U.S. forces intercepted and seized a Venezuelan oil tanker, and U.S. President Trump declared that the captured oil would be kept by the United States. Mumbai-based Balu Forge has begun operations of its indigenously developed artillery empty shell production line. The Indian Army has commissioned a new drone training node in Ladakh, enhancing the Army's capability to train soldiers in advanced unmanned systems and counter-drone operations. India has issued a fresh notification expanding its designated danger zone to 2,520 km, for an upcoming missile test between 17 and 20 December. Donald Trump administration has approved a massive $686 million upgrade package for Pakistan's F-16 fleet, that effectively confirms Pakistan is replacing at least six F-16 fighter jets that were destroyed on ground at Shah Baz Air Base and Bolari Air Base. The RDO's Project Veda is nearing its first full-scale launch in early 2026, which is a rapid-response military rocket designed to immediately replace lost satellites during wartime. The Indian Army is exploring a high-altitude version of Saga Defense's Varuna drone, to deliver 200 kg loads to remote LAC posts at 18,000 feet. Israel is exploring direct investment in India's Make in India ecosystem, including plans to shift production of advanced weapon platforms to India. Both governments are working on a co-development and co-production framework on the Make in India, aimed at meeting Indian requirements, and exporting to global markets. Despite failing to deliver a single Tejas Mark 1A aircraft from 2021 contract for 83 aircraft, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has expressed confidence that the Indian Air Force might place additional orders for the Tejas Mark 1A, beyond the recently signed second batch of 97 aircraft to replace MiG-29 Jaguar and Mirage 2000. Since the Tejas Mark II will not begin series production before 2032, HAL believes that the Mark 1A is the only viable scalable solution to bridge the nearly decade-long shortfall. However, experts believe that Indian Air Force's long-term plan prioritizes transitioning to the far more capable Tejas Mark II, and sees Mark II as the true replacement for the MiG-29 Jaguar and Mirage 2000. In yet another setback caused by bureaucracy, the 120 kN DRDO Safran engine is now expected to get clearance only by 2026, with the first ground run pushed to 2032, and full certification only by 2038, which means that the AMCA Mark II induction might slip beyond 2040, far later than the original 2035 target. To avoid this capability gap, two proposals are under discussion, that includes producing more AMCA Mark I units using F-414 engines, and building early AMCA Mark II airframes with F-414, and retrofitting them with 120 kN engines later. Despite Russia's push for larger SU-57E order with transfer of technology package and local production, India has given a cautious response to Russia's offer, saying that India focused only on evaluating a small direct purchase of 40 to 60 SU-57E as a temporary strike capability, and not a full-fledged fifth-generation program. The Indian Air Force prefers to reserve true fifth-generation investment for the AMCA, and remains skeptical about setting up a domestic production line for the SU-57, preferring a simpler route of limited direct imports. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.